Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp, and I have created a game called Marble Squared for the ZX Spectrum Next. And I thought it might be interesting, or fun, or something to do a like, strategy walkthrough. Or, I mean, not a walkthrough, but a, more of a kind of strategy. So I, um, I first made this game in the early 2000s, and... Um, it was for the Palm Pilot, and I have been playing this game on and off on my phone, on a Palm Pilot, and for the last year in the Spectrum, just trying to kind of get it done in the few hours here and there. Um, and I thought it might be useful to kind of show off a bit of a thinking, a strategy to playing a game, actually clearing the boards. So here we go. Um, I'm going to start off with my settings, and uh, the theme I use is actually pretty important. Um, so there are some, where is it, this theme, the kitchen floor. It was an early version of the theme, and it's, it's to me, near impossible to actually play with. Um, I quite like the old spec, um, and what I'm really looking for is kind of really clear distinction between the different tile types. Um, and the new grey is a pretty good good one for that as well. A reason for that is I'm I'm going to be looking at the screen, and um, I'm kind of starting off by just kind of scanning the board, um, and I'm looking for where the most color kind of sits. So just kind of looking at this board, there's a lot of the kind of these white tiles, and what I'm looking for is the set of tiles that have the most uh, on the uh, on the board. Um, and I'm going to start with those, try and clear those first. Um, so here, kind of the white ones look like there's the most, um, possibly the grey ones, doesn't look like that good a board. I'm looking for kind of clusters of uh, shapes. When you've got like a checkered pattern like down here, um, it's a lot trickier to kind of clear these off. So before I even start clearing the board, uh, the safest thing to do is clear the top ones that have no impact on uh, the columns. Uh, either the, the row is kind of falling to falling down or going to the left. So uh, this is a safe block to get rid of. Um, I could have actually, I'm going to undo, uh, and I'm take the penalty. I'll, I'll kind of come back to that in a moment. Um, but this on this score is worth, uh, what is it, six. Um, but if I clear this two first and actually clear this one next, um, the score is worth more. So when there's the opportunity to kind of get a slightly higher score without kind of risking too much of the board kind of falling, I'll go for the higher score. So that would be my starting approach, kind of clearing off these t uh, top blocks and seeing where I can join them up. Um, the next thing I'm also looking at at the same time are these bottom, uh, bottom corners. So down here and also down here. So what I'm thinking about is how is the board going to end? If I clear this uh, this kind of grayish, I mean they're all gray, but this this block, what I'm going to get is this dark block, to, uh, this black block to fall down, and the white block, and I'm going to need to make sure that I have another black block next to this one, so that I can clear uh, you know the the last few blocks on the screen. And it might be that the priority needs to be cleaning up this end. It might be that the priority is cleaning up this bottom row to get them to clear. So I'll show you what I mean. I am now going to try and clear out this this one white tile, and I'm looking for what will kind of hit next to it. Um, and my strategy of kind of clearing as many white tiles white tiles as possible is kind of set aside for um, getting the board ready to be cleared. So I'm going to drop this, um, and this black is connected, which is good. I'm going to get rid of these greys. This grey here on the pointer just because they're going to get in the way um, and I'm thinking about how I can get this white to connect to this white um, and it should be fine if I clear these blocks the light grey is going to fall down to here I'm going to clear the light grey and the white's going to be touching which allows me to clear out that black I've kind of got a similar problem going on again over here um, I'm a bit wary of these blocks, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I guess I'll drop these down. Now I've got this kind of one grey block just here that I need to clear. 
Um, and what I'll do is I'll look for how do I get like this block down to here. Um, and actually I can do that fairly simple, I think. I clear out these, this black. Oh no, I can't now. So when I, if we just undo and kind of re, re drop in, if I clear that black, once I clear this lot, this, this gray block is going to fall down to uh, this bottom, bottom section, uh, which I don't want. Um, can I do anything about it? I'm just going to clear out these whites and kind of see how the, uh, the tiles fall. Okay, so this is better. So when I clear this black column, this uh, dot, just uh, this block just here is going to be aligned with this one and it will drop the gray down to where I want it to be so I can clear out that gray. Okay, so now I'm kind of looking to get rid of this block at the bottom. I'm still thinking about this light gray, but um, that's not gonna come yet. So, hmm, okay, so I'm now thinking about my kind of end game a little bit. Even though I've got this kind of very tall block column here, um, it should, it looks like it will clear fairly easily. Um, so yeah, when there, whenever it's a, a column of blocks, it's it's going to clear no matter what. If it's a, a shape, so if I if I it doesn't matter how I affect the board, I'll still have that column. But if it's a shape like this, where it's, um, you know, the kind of S shape, uh, if I clear like these blocks here, I'm going to break the connection between these two white blocks, um, which might be fine. Maybe I'll want to do that because. Um, I'll be able to clear this column and then the two white blocks, this one here and this one here will be touching. Um, so let's kind of, I guess, kind of get on with it. Um, I'm thinking about this last white block here as well. Like how do I get maybe these blocks over to here? Uh, what I'm going to do is start clearing out these blacks. Um, uh, this will do, I guess. Um, and I'm also keeping an eye on the numbers, so you don't want to end up with an odd number of uh, blocks. I can see that I've got one block here, which means I need to make sure that I don't clear all of these white blocks in one go. Um, I'm better off kind of keeping, in fact, I can probably just nuke that lot. Um, yeah, keep this, keep that. There we go. So that might have happened a bit quick. So I've got this kind of white block, white area that I don't want anymore. Um, um, and I'm now kind of down to three black blocks. I want these three to end up touching each other. Um, so if I get rid of this area and when I, when I've got, yeah, two in a row and one, so this kind of like two and one, it will align these two grays and it will align these two blacks when that clears as well. So I clear that. I've now got the blacks, I've got the whites and I've got the grays and I'm on to level two. I mean, obviously, I've been using my um, my undo, so it's it's costing me in the game. But that is a strategy that I use. Um, so you're kind of repeating the same process here. Uh, the dark colors are kind of calling my eye. I've got some nice kind of groupings of blacks here. Um, equally, the dark grays have got some some chunks that are together. So dropping this white will get me that line of grays. Um, it will bring this one closer to this gray. Uh, but I've got this kind of problem here where I need to make sure I get white down to clear this block. Um, or I could just go for the blacks, uh, which is a pretty good, it's looking pretty good there. Uh, sometimes, so in this case here, I didn't want to break this row because it'll just leave me with kind of a hanging, hanging white block, uh, which is no good. So I'm just going to clear it before I clear that out. Um, and the same thing here, I don't want to clear this block just yet without clearing these because I know when I drop this column, this black block will just end up kind of dangling down here, which I don't really want. So I'll clear that first, clear all those blacks, get those, uh, these two. Um, there's no kind of real opportunity to join these up early on. So I'm just going to clear these, clear these. Um, there you go. So I'm going to connect up. This black, I'm going to connect that dangling black to these by clearing out the grays. And now I've got rid of all my blacks, which has reduced the number of color blocks I want to get rid of. Um, and it's, it's looking a lot better. 
Now, once you're down to three colors of blocks, it makes it a lot easier to clear the block, uh, the, the entire screen. Um, so I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I think I'm, sometimes you can end up with a bit of a mess. So there's a lot of white here. I'm wondering if I can, uh, so joining up all of this white gives me a really nice big score, but I don't want to risk leaving some whites left over. Now there we go. So all of these whites touching each other, it's a nice chunky score. So my score really jumped just then. Um, and then here, it's a clear line to the next level. Okay, so same process. Probably stop the video in a moment. Getting a bit laborious. I'm getting a. I've already got a, a nice high score, assuming my internet's working. Um, so I think the the, the light grey cluster is looking pretty good. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. So I'm getting these light greys together. So just got this one dangling, which should connect when I. When I clear this block of greys, this black will fall, um, allow me to connect to this black, and I'll clear those blacks, um, and clear the whites, and then these two greys will be touching each other, so that's what I want. So let's get all those greys out of the way. And then what did I say I was going to do? I was going to do, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't want to grab those greys, might let that fall. No, no, I won't let that fall. There you go. So that's all of the greys, light greys gone already. Um, and I'm thinking about how these dark greys go. Should be nice and straightforward. These are going to fall into here. In fact, I'm going to not clear that white. I'm going to join the white for a higher score. So clear that and I know that the grey is going to fall to here and end up next to this grey which is good, exactly what I want. Um, got to think about what I've got left over but it's it's normally, this kind of situation is normally fine. Um, so there I've got, I'm able to clear all the blacks in one go, all the whites in one go, gives me a nice solid score. So yeah. I think I'll leave the video here and I'll probably play this game to the end, see where I get to. Um, but yeah, that's the strategy I, I, I use. I tend to, like I said, I kind of, sometimes I squint a little bit to look for the colors. Um, when I'm using color game, it's dark and evening at the moment, so I'm using black and white, or gray and grayscale. Um, and yeah, so I look for the clusters. I think about how it's gonna end in this bottom right-hand corner. And I'm also thinking about this kind of bottom row, how mixed up they are and how much I need to clean up and, and make sure that you don't have any kind of odd numbers of blocks. Think about how these columns kind of break when you, you know, if you clear this, this white block, how it breaks that kind of uh, that shape. Um, and then, yeah, use the undo when you need to and just be careful about the undo because it can be pretty impactful to the score. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty happy with my score. Um, I'm fairly sure it'll get me onto the leaderboard. Um, at the very least, I've beaten my local score. Um, but uh, if I start using the, the undo a bit too liberally, given that it's costing me 100 points now per undo, uh, I would end up kind of nuking my score. So thanks for watching. Uh, check out the game. It is at remysharp.itch.io. Um, and uh, it's donationware, so it's free, or you can give me a little bit of money for a coffee. Thanks so much.